What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another episode of our Rome 2 Rise of the Republic campaign with myself and Scrim. Hello. And yes, in the last episode, it's been a little while since the last episode, um, but we are, uh, well, I think I was fighting Neapolis and I beat you in a big old battle, but I had to did retreat. You? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Yes. It was this battle over here. That. I'm looking at the, the, the cross swords. And, uh, yeah, so basically, um, I beat you, and it was very close, because I can see the army that's left, it's like an 18 stack, but it's pretty battered. Um, oh, and... yeah, because I had, like, four really good swordsmen, and the rest were, once again, peasants. Yeah. So um, I, I can't work with light infantry, I'm a heavy armoured fella. You are. Um, so, yes, I'm now bringing down a second legion to finish off the job that the other legion couldn't do, while the other one re replenishes. So... I think I've done everything I can. Um, I don't think there's much else I can do. I'm recruiting a lot more stuff here. Yeah, I'm going to just hand it over to you, to be honest, and just let you do your thing. Okay. Oh, rivalry of the, the proud city of Sparta is thankful for your contribution. I've literally got, like, seven debuffs right now because Greece keeps asking me for help, so I'm, I'm not even sure what I can do this turn. I'm still raking in 5,000 per turn. 5, I was going to say, it's not debuffing your economy any. No, my economy is 5,432 per turn. I've got seven grand in the bank. Oof. Doing quite well, to the point yeah. where I can't actually build anything because it's all already built. So, um, yeah, I, I can't complain, really. And then the viewers um, look at mine and they just go, oh, Pope's not, oh got, dear. Pope's not got such a good economy. No. But I have expensive indeed. units. My men actually, like, fight well. <laughs> I mean, if that's the excuse you want to make for a shit economy, sure. <laughs> I'm going for um, expansion, not economy. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I can go anywhere I want now. I'm, oh, I need to build a fleet. Yeah, so I'm in the process of basically capturing Sicily, as in there's only two settlements left. Both belong to my ally. Kind of don't want to be allies anymore, so I can just take over the entire place. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also resolving this. Oh, wow. Four sacred band. What the hell have they got in their... um Garrison? They must have something more than... The... Oh, yeah, they've got level three barracks, which is... Oh, oh yes, I remember what I was doing in technology but, now. There's no point fighting this anyway. <laughs> there's no point. I mean, who cares? Well, no, they've got seven really good units, but I outnumber them two to one. Oh. More than two to one. I outnumber them oh, just over two to one, but nah, they're just get Nah, there's no point. <laughs> nah, 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 I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but if you haven't got cavalry, I will win. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, he probably would, actually. Cavalry. Yeah, this, this is the thing. If you've got cavalry, I don't know why, but you're the only person that I can't counter cavalry with. I don't know what you do with them. Magic. Magic. Ooh. Yes, we'll have that as a little upgrade. Okay, so we now have a level 3 barracks in here. Can I actually exploit it? No, I can't. I can't actually do anything with it at all. Apart from upgrade my capacity of training troops, which is fine, I shall do so. Can I attack my ally and not annoy anybody else in the process? Or is it worth just having my ally here? Because he's defensive and reliable as well. Well, you'll make you untrustworthy, <sighs> won't it? Oh. Yeah, I suppose. I, I, yeah, I've already got to... No, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. I've got allies elsewhere. I just want the uh, island to myself is yeah. basically where I'm going with that. Yeah, I mean, you can if but, you want. Go for it. No, I'm not you. Um... <laughs> hey, I needed it for the entire province. They weren't going to become a vassal. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see if you'll make me a vassal here. Actually, make client states low. Nah, you won't do it. Right. Let's look at other diplomacy options. Um, everyone I'm trading with. That's fine. Oh, I've discovered the new Neuraric Confederation. Oh. Who want trade and a non-aggression pact, and will even pay for it. Wow. You lucky soul. I wish I could have that sort of uh, relations with people, but no. Relations with you? Well, no, just no, just like people, like, <laughs> having really. I wish other people just liked me in this game, but, uh... You did kind of backstab a murder. Yeah, the only though. person that did like me, these people that lived in Anag Anagni, they, yeah, they didn't like... So, they didn't like so it the thing, them. looking at our relationship according to the computer, mm -hmm. uh, we're minus sixty-one. We're very unfriendly with each other. I mean, you did say some rude things about my uh, my leader's wife, so 
I'm just saying. <sighs> Don't trust if her. She's gonna. If she... <laughs> oh god! Right. Um, I need to start building navy now because obviously. Oh, military wolf. Shame I can't use it. I need to start looking at building a navy because obviously now I'm on Carthage's doorstep. I can't do anything with that. Um, what does this do? Three hundred wealth from commerce. That's why I've gone up by a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. Thousand per turn. So that's good. Um, that is. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so that's right. We need to construct navy because obviously. Oh, I'm protected yeah. for three more turns right. from uh, from rebellion. That's okay. I I've got zero percent risk. Excellent. Shall I equip some more colonists? I can afford to do that. No, I can't. Go on. What? Send oh, it's the cooldown. That's why. Send them off. No, that's a cooldown. Uh, let's get a navy going, because I'm going to need a bit big to get rid of Carthage. Uh, inspire. Or Zeon Inspire. For let's go with that. Oh, I can get some... Oh, yes. Artillery ships. Um... Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yep. So I'm just building my fleet, and then I'll pass it back to you, my dear Pope. Thank you. I'm just looking at the huge stack of Berentani that are definitely going to be coming for me at some point. But I mean, they don't even look that scary. They've got Italian swords, which are basically like this, the rubbish mercenaries that I keep hiring yeah. occasionally. Um... I think that's it, really. Oh, yes, there's one more thing I need to do. My fleet has basically reached northern Italy now. Mm -hmm. Let's go see who these people are. Actually, who are you? I've discovered the barbarians. The boy. The boy! Boy! And I've discovered the someone else. Oh, Nigeria. Oh, gosh, you are discovering a lot of people. I don't even think I can see this many people. Unfriendly due to basically everything they could think of. Yeah, I, I don't know if I really want to meet more people because I don't think those people really want to know me. <laughs> because I just end up killing people. That might be why. Yeah. Anyway, do you want to end the turn and we'll? Uh... Yes, I've just taught my fleet to return home, so it's done. It's done as an exploration mission. Very good. Very good. Uh, Taurus is kicking about. I know. That's why I was about to comment on just say Taurus is. Doing all sorts. Carthage is... Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? They're going to land a doing? big stack, aren't they? No. Their um, champion is poking my general. Ah. Oh, they're moving some fleets, though. Oh, God, they're moving quite they a lot. They are. They're moving quite a lot. Ah, well. Oh, the Ferentani have changed which army is standing on their, my border. It's a smaller one this time. They're mountain men. The mountain men. Yes, that's what they're called, apparently. The mountain men. They come, they come from, from the mountains, the and they, they live in the mines. Cool, oh. there's a mine? Apparently Ooh, it's now Middle Earth, and there's dwarves, and all sorts. Oh, agent recovered. Didn't realise I'd lost one. Oh, there's some Illyrian pirates. Oh my god, where the heck are they? Jesus. All the way up here, and that was a lot of lag for some reason. Oh god, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I didn't like just like going over to that part of the map apparently. <laughs> um, right, where's my Patric patrician? Where where is he? Oh, he's here. Oh, that's perfect. He can go straight into on the march and find out what's happening. Go back into Cap Oh now we uh, do that. No, okay. Well I'd like you to you to come off force march. You can go to here. Oh we can't actually even reach this turn. Um, go there. Can you what level barracks have you got, by the way? What level barracks? Level yeah. two. Mm, okay. I could, but I think even my stuff on level two beats your stuff on level three. I'm going. All for, right, all right. I, so I, I'm going for like a lot of buffs at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be defensive. You're just criticizing what I've got. Defensive. <laughs> you started murdering people. Murdering people is not good. Have you not seen uh, llamas with hats? You saw what happened at the end there when the entire world blew up. This is what you're going to do. You're going to destroy the entire world. Oh, well. By murdering people. Well, put that on my resume. <laughs> <laughs> when the aliens come up. Yeah. Faction encountered the Illyrian pirates. I didn't think I 
had encountered them, but okay. Oh, yeah. And I'm at war with them. Like, ever. Oh, I'm at war with them, and the boy are at war with them. Okay. That's... You just met someone, and they instantly declare war. Well, yeah, I didn't even get, like, a choice. I think it's just, like, an event. They just appear. <laughs> they just appear. So, I think because us and the boy are just, like, very strong, or I don't know. One or the other. I'm having to recruit a lot more stuff. More cavalry for you to for me to annoy you with. I mean, go for it. I'm basically spear heavy. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm going to. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to hold off on recruiting any more infantry from that spot. Can I recruit anything in? Can upgrade my barracks, but I don't want to. <laughs> Don't know what I want to do then. There's no one that really likes me enough to. Uh... Well, the Umbria Stana like me. <laughs> How much money are you making per turn as well? Me. No. Yeah. Two thousand and something I was, but it's gone down to sixteen hundred now because I just recruited a load of troops. Oh God. <laughs> hey, I'm producing lots of troops. I've got gold uh, chevron slingers now. I mean, it's not something really to brag about, but hey. No, to be fair, you're doing well. It's just that I'm not going for a great economy. I mean, I, I could get a good economy. I'm, and the thing I'm going for next is going to be United Latium, which allows me to get like 500 coin a turn just for holding uh, like Latium. Oh. So. So. Oh. 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 Um, a few seasons later, we successfully colonized these distant lands. I've got 20% wine for each existing production facility. No idea what that does. And plus 10 loyalty for all factions for the next 20 turns. 12 turns, even. <laughs> 20 turns. I don't need that. <laughs> it's because this guy's already in my favor. So huh. You've only got one I've... other party. Yeah, I've only got plus 18, so he's not even that unhappy with me. So I'm, wow. I'm pretty politically safe here. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure another party will appear because that's what happens happened for me anyway. Like one disappeared, right, I walked one down, and another one appeared. But I don't know. I mean, oh god, one actually really hates me. Thirst for power. Oh god, no wonder he hates me. Has he got any land? Does he hold any land? Or well, you're doing your stuff? Yes, he I'm holds just... Alba Fusensis, <laughs> that garrison fucking area there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, that's the way. Okay. Um, right, so I don't know what to build else in this settlement. That was great English. Um, <sighs> let's do consecrated ground, because we can. Um, so I'm now building some things, which I'm not going to tell Pope about. Building level three barracks. <sighs> no, build. actually. Oh. That's fine, you can build whatever you want to build. Um... I'm sure if it's military stuff, my armies can uh, oppose it. If it's naval stuff... I believe stuff, swordsmen do beat spearmen, so that's going to be uh, something to think about. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think Romans beat everything. I think that's how it, how it goes. Not the Turkish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I like that. Um, okay, so Kapur got retaken by the Ooh. Samanites, so I'm having to move my army somewhere else. I just realised Neapolis has been sieged by the uh, Samnites as well. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, that's um, a big stack. That's a full stack. Well, I'm gonna have to go after someone else then. Joy, the Ferentani again have swapped which army is on my border. It's back to the original one. <laughs> the mountain men be swapped for? I don't know which one. Uh, probably some other mountain me mountain men point two. I don't know. Mountain Man Point 2. They have bigger know. beards. Yeah, bigger beards. <laughs> Rome <coughs> Calvary is the finest, is what it was saying. Oh, the Stone Men. Ah, basically. The Stone Men? <laughs> yeah. The Mountain Men have been replaced by the Stone Men. This yeah. is fun. Did you have the Forest Men and the Mining Men? Maybe. And then the Men Men. And the Men Men. Do I declare war on the Samanites at the same time? That's... You're pretty good at doing that, to be fair. Army sabotage, uh, bleh, bleh. sabotage, or do we just go? Uh, oh, I can see what they have now. They're pretty beaten up. Hispanian warriors? Oh no, Herpanian warriors. I was gonna say Hispanian. We're not. We're nowhere near. Spanish. 
Yeah, Spanish what, Inquisition, you never expected. Yeah, what would the Spanish do here? Um, yeah, I think we've got we've got two twenty stacks that we can mobilize against them. I don't see why we can't do that. United Latium is the uh, aim. Uh, we will. Who are they allied with? That's a point. Before we just start throwing men in, there. no one, and they're only at war with Neapolis. Yeah, I don't see why not. Let's just bring up the other army in a force march. Tasty. Rome looks really pretty on the map. It is very pretty. Um, I will take you on a sightseeing of it one day, Scrim, when you uh, swear fealty to me. <laughs> Can I bring my favourite torch? Your favourite torch? Uh, no. no. It's going to happen. It's going to happen? What, that you bring yeah. your favourite torch? Yeah, I might leave it somewhere, see what happens. <laughs> I well, mean, fire is a beautiful thing. Well, I've taken... Uh, Kapua, or whatever it's called. Kapua. Oh, Kapua. Kapua. And they're uh, now starving at the sun. Well, well, no, they're only starving because they're sieging out, I just realised. Uh, Neapolis probably could hold for a little while. It's got te Oh, jeez. It's got elite hot plates. Already? Jesus. Uh, and it's garrison, though. Only in its garrison. Um, yeah, I'll build a military camp here for now, I guess. Put a village in, and I'll put in a pit mine. Get some more economy. I am down to a thousand a turn, which is... N hurting me a bit but we can you're restricting yourself what you're restricting yourself yeah well hopefully i can take like all of these um provinces and stuff like this pretty soon i'm just seeing what loyalty this one took oh it went the right way it went a house of fury so that's always good um but i mean yeah hopefully i can take like all of these a regions pretty quickly and then we can uh, start to stomp on them because i mean they've both weakened themselves from war I'm not too worried about the Ferentani. I have a garrison of 10, and I have an army of 5 in there, so I should be able to put off any stacks that decide to turn up if they decide to uh, attack, but I doubt they will. Ooh, that's not a bad shout to go after. That might be an, uh, an army to go for. Oh, there's a mountain men that's made up of the Salmonites as well. We better get scared of the Salmonites. Um, 800. So no, I'm probably going to save that for the for the next turn. I will end my turn, I think. I'm protected for one more turn. God, I might need to start bribing some people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need Ooh, some money a, to bribe. A large group of priests desires to settle on new cities when asked what to explain the sacred new sacred place for the goddess. Uh, first phone? Uh, per Persifer. Oh, yeah, I know who she is. Yeah, per, per, I is can't. she Greek? Yeah, yeah, she's like pretty bad goddess like pretty bad as in like she did some bad shit i'm pretty sure oh you know what while you're doing it i'll give it a google you know what give it a google because I, I might i don't ever want to accept them into i can't actually do anything i'll deny them all oh, right will i anger the gods if i deny her but if she is you know a little bit of a dick i don't think i want her in my life yeah i'm gonna see what she is you know what educate educate everyone on what so she's the goddess <laughs> of vegetation especially grain and the wife of Hades. Ah, oh, I knew she was the wife of Hades. and That's pretty bad. Well, to be fair, I am like 20 foods. I, I don't think that's a bad goddess to be accepting them. And then uh, is an important element of the Aleutian mysteries and the Thesmophoria. That's where I've heard of it. I had I did die an A-level Thesmophoria. And was worshipped throughout the Greek world and frequently appeared in all forms of Greek art. Well, so she's part good by the sounds of it because she's actually good for your fertility, but she's also... I think that was a Daughter of Hades, I think that's. Daughter. I well, think... she's being accepted. Oh that's well. The main thing. Don't blame me if uh, Hades comes and on your knocking on your door. He knocks on everyone's door eventually, isn't he? The god of hell. Well, yeah, and death, sort of, I guess, in a way. It's gonna happen, then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's not. He's not the god of death. It, the god of death is. Or Ross or something like that. I've forgotten what he's called. Fan I keep hearing the word Thanos. Is that a actual god as well, or is that yeah, just Yeah, I actually think that that might be the god of death, which is what I'm worried about. And I didn't want to say it, but Greek. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll have a look. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's something like that. It begins with a T. Does the one? Um, well, the Samanites are trying to go for Thanatos. That's it. Thanatos. Thanatos. Thanatos, yeah, so it's sort of like, God. it's kind of like a similar name, I guess. <laughs> ah, if you think so, if you 
if you're really, really looking out for what it sounds like, yeah. Um, but yeah, Savage Knights have gone for a, they've gone for a strike into my homeland. Oh, there we go. Protection's gone. High chance of civil war. Oh Yay. boy. <laughs> you're doing really, really well. Yeah. Oh god, my economy could do with improvement. So I can pay these men off. Well, is it lucky I didn't force that tariff on you when I accepted your trade agreement? What tariff? There's the no 500 tariff. gold you didn't want to give me? Don't believe there was ever any ever any ever there. There was ever a, tar a tariff. Good yeah, sir. so give me 500 gold, I'll give you trade. You said no. <laughs> yeah, because you know I'm not going to accept that sort of outrageous demand. <laughs> Well, apparently you're my second biggest trading partner, according to the screen, <laughs> which I find quite amusing. Yeah. Well, I'm. Uh, the Salmonites think it'll be funny to uh, say, siege out my place, so I'm going to siege out theirs, and I can take it one turn. And you can siege out things in one turn. <laughs> yeah, well, I already instantly start with a uh, something there, by the sounds of it, like cheese. Yeah, start with a uh, what's some call it? Siege equipment. Why can I? Why can I think of the word for that? Anyway, we're building a shop, then we're going to knock down this, and we're going to build uh, some build some other stuff here. Just knock all this down. We don't need this. Rubbish. It's rubbish. My Let's economy's move. booming, just to let you know. Well, I'm in five digits. you're a boomer. Going to be in five you're digits boomer, very soon. So... <laughs> <laughs> you're a boomer, so who cares? Well, either that means I've had five children and complain at restaurants a lot, or... I'm really, really fat. I'm going to be sick on you and attract the horde in the process. I'm going to go with the former. <laughs> You've had five shows. I work in a restaurant. <laughs> Those types of people are the worst. I don't think they could reach my other settlement. But if they could, then, then that's not the end of the world. But, I mean, I could really do with... I'm going to have to save up money to... Uh, to bribe politicians next turn. Bribe if I politicians, can, oh yeah, god. If I can uh, afford it. Unless uh, you want to give me some money and then I then I'm forever in your debt. I don't know, Pope, I've got about nine grand in the bank and because I've got nothing to spend it on. I mean I'll have thirteen next turn. I just need a I just need a thousand, sir. Um, I will I will be in your debt. I'll pay it back with extra. Pay it back with extra. You didn't want to give me it in the first. <laughs> oh, let me think about it. I'll spare you the. <laughs> I'll spare you the swords, sir. The swords? I'm not worried about your swords. I've got Carthage to worry about, if anything. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you're not wrong, probably. Um, <laughs> how many more? Oh, to be fair, I might survive one turn. I, well, I think it's fifty-nine percent. I am steadfast. People do not like me for, I don't think, for declaring war. Oh, expansionism. They don't like me for that. Yeah, I've just gone up an <coughs> Imperium. I went up an Imperium. They were like, <laughs> don't like that. Don't like that. Not at all. Uh, I don't think I can even change. Like, Oh, yeah, I can appoint a dictator, but yeah, who wants to do that? Elect consuls. Who wants to do oh, that? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I need to start looking into that. Yeah, I yeah, I can't. Oh, I can't. Wait a minute. I, yeah, I'm still at war with the Region for some reason. I don't know why. It's an interesting scenario. Um, what, why is my economy so trash? Army upkeep apparently is very expensive. 4,926. 4,000. Jesus, what's mine on? My army upkeep is 3,500. My navy upkeep is about 1,400 as well. So I've got about 5,000 leaving me. Every yeah. I could do with probably doing some more... Uh, Economy stuff, but I'm trying to just find which one it would really be. Tax rates, okay. I guess all political action costs that would be pretty handy to bring down by fifty percent. Because I'm sure that's a political action is uh, bribing politicians to not attack you. So we might that might be our next move to do after, if we oh. don't have a rebellion. The migratory tribe of Helvetia. Oh yeah, that's in the north. Yeah. That's oh god, that's fine. We can. Yeah. I can live with that. That's, that's you know, something I should south. be worrying about, apparently, but uh, I'm not. <laughs> so, Pope, you wanted the money, yeah? Well, it's a bit late now. <laughs> okay. If you don't need the money, that's fine. Well, no, you can give me the money, but I mean... Well, no, you didn't want the money, so I thought, okay, if you're not that desperate. 
I am desperate, Scrim, but you should have offered it in the turn that I needed it to pay men. Well, because you're not desperate anymore, I thought I'd end our trade agreement. Just so, you know, uh, you know where we stand. Did you actually end it? Were you not there on the screen? I'm waiting for your response to that. Yeah, I'm, not on the, I'm not on the screen. Oh. I'm, back in the, I'm back on the main map, so... It just said you rejected something or, like, ended something, so... I just assumed that... Well, and my income has gone down, so... Oh, well. You're, you're pretty rude. <laughs> I might have to take a few turns just getting, building tall now. Because of your <laughs> insolence. My insolence? No, I'm just saying. No, Screw no, you. no. You're saying a lot of things, but... <laughs> <sighs> I mean, Carthage is building up quite a force. Yeah, well... Screw Carthage. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I don't defeat them in about a couple of hundred years' time, you'll have to do it, so... Yeah, it's not, not wrong. I'm literally just floating around not doing anything, just taunting you. I should have ended that guy oh, ages ago. Oh, well, Neapolis relieved the siege. Wow. Oh, yeah, they have as well. Time for me to swoop in! <laughs> <laughs> and cause more havoc. Oh, God, my economy's so bad. <laughs> Will I have a civil war? I haven't had one yet, it's not popped on the map. But I wonder if that's going to be at the very end of the... Go, it'll pop up. I'm not sure. Carthage doing stuff? Yep, a lot. Retreating, strangely enough. Well, they are cowards. They are known for being big wusses. Are they really? No, well, uh, I say that. They're quite good at putting elephants over the Alps. So, yeah, I keep hearing these stories how the Hannibal did, what, three different things, and one of them was elephants over the Alps. Is that actually true? Yeah, yeah, it is true. He does get it. There about half of them die, so is it... He just kind of kills about... I think he tries to take like 30 elephants with him. About 15 get there. Yeah, you broke our trade agreement, you rude, rude boy. I'm down, <laughs> to, I'm down to 1,200 a turn. But, for some reason I have a lot of money, so I can now secure loyalty. And now we're down to 41% risk. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he... <laughs> I'll bribe the other one. But that doesn't actually really help. So I've kind of wasted that money. I shouldn't have wasted that second bit of money, but oh well. Uh, we'll put in a suburbia, and then we'll hey, put Bob, in... I've got five digits in my bank. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no one cares. I think you do a little bit. I might care, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm only building two armies and a fleet simultaneously. It's great. Nobody cares. Pope <laughs> doesn't do economy. Yes, we can tell. <laughs> well, as Rome, I don't think you can do economy. I don't think you're really able to afford to. Um, Whereabouts are you? I'd love to... Oh, God, you're actually down there. Jesus. Yeah, I'm actually pushing quite hard now. You're pushing very well. Yeah, but it is at a cost of no economy. Um, <laughs> All your army is just heading south right now, pushing in. Um, two of them are. The other one's kind of just making sure that uh, the Samurai army that's now cut off in the middle of nowhere doesn't just sneak and take a settlement in my rear yeah so uh yeah oh yes this one has a garrison now so we could actually leave this and send this off somewhere and um, you can't actually even reach that in one turn lol and um, what's the garrison like here in the food who's still in the food hmm. this is i'm gonna just start besieging the apollos then Ooh, that's not actually a good option. Why is this so awful? Not really that sure. Well, I'm going to just stick here because, I mean, they don't get their fleets if they assault. And they only have six turns of siege. Yeah, build some towers. Yeah, do that. Um, move this patrician on, I guess. Just see what else there is down here. Okay, there's a Samurai army appearing. I wouldn't. I would like to know how that would happen if the Samurais decided to join the war, like join the battle. Like, yeah. is this a three-way fight, or we just uh, we're taking turns or something? I don't know. Four more turns, and I get five hundred and twenty-five wealth for nothing. Huzzah! 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 Right, we're in the turn. Just skip through some turns, I guess. If you're doing nothing, you're just building fleets. Ooh, ooh. The priests begin their religious works. So have ten percent owning factions cultural influence and pu plus three public order for all provinces i think that went rather well for uh, someone who's related to death in some yeah some way shape or form um once again i can't build anything because i'm so rich and powerful i've already done it okay well 
<laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> um, so, what can I... Uh, I can um, I show this? No, I'll wait until the 7 population get Argon built up again. Um, in the meantime, I think I might just build another navy. <laughs> so much money, I can just do what I want. Um, oh, you know how to rub it in, don't you? I know, it's great. Oh, you know what? I've got agents instead of buying agents till now. Yeah, then so, you can go around and start looking and see what happens. Indeed. So we're going to build these two agents here. This army is going to go over to place over here. Yeah, it, ha it would be handy if I could trade. Then I'd actually would be making money, but people don't like me enough to trade. Would you like to have some money? Me? Yes. Uh, I'll have 10,000, thanks. No, I can't give you 10,000 anymore. Oh, I've kind of cool. built armies. Oh, um, cool. I can give you a trade agreement. Oh, yeah, after that one that you just broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, fine. No, you, you do what you want. Do what you want. I'm not going to beg. But I mean, no, I am, I am, I am going to do what just, I want. I'm just going to... Yeah, end. you're just kind of being a bit silly here if you're breaking it. And then you're trying to bring it back. I just uh, don't know where you stand, Pope. Uh, uh, you know, two, I'm just... In Sicily, to start with, on two legs... Two pretty strong legs, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my other agent? I've got a spy kicking about. I don't know how to spy. Oh, because it's in my blood. Yeah, I mean. I had a spy on my army. I forgot about that. I have no idea. Um, let's uh, let's kill some people with it. I think my whole policy of going to war with these people was so that they I denied you trade. I don't know if you're actually trading with half these people. Um, no, it's literally affected nothing. Oh damn it. Because the people I'm trading with are... <laughs> Even further south. <laughs> They're all in the south, mate. You're going to have to... I'm, I'm go... coming south, mate. I'm, like... Not too many provinces off uh, the toe of Italy. I'm one... Well, if I take Neapolis, one, two, three, four... Oh, God, I'm actually quite a long way still. But, You've I mean... got quite a bit to go through, and these are... Yeah. It's about quite a few stacks kicking about down here, so... Well, I yeah, obviously. Luck. Well, yeah, but, I mean, also, at the same time, like... I'm only taking out these people because they're in, like, three-way wars that have been going on for, like, generations by the sounds of it. Oh, there's Roman army. I see you. How can you see me? Because I'm trading with Neapolis. Oh, right. Yeah, there is a Roman army besieging them because we do this... I don't know what we're doing, really. We do this often. Yes, I may have to break the siege, though, because uh, the Samonites are coming back to the settlement that I was hoping that they'd come for. And the Helvetii have declared war on me. Oh, you're at oh, war them as well. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, you are. Neopolis is going to try and do something. I didn't realise how much stuff there was in this um, oh, Carthaginia. Oh, he died. What? It was about... I didn't realise how much uh, settlements there were in Carth... Um, oh, no, it's not even that now. It's Valeria. Oh. Oh, Valeria, yeah, I, yeah. I, I owe you. Yeah, I that's Carthage own that, don't they? Yes, indeed, they do. Yeah, well, hopefully I get time to do some building tall. I mean, nothing's happened yet in the way of a civil war. Is it gonna. If there's a civil war, you're gonna have a bit of a stumbling block to kick around with. Yes, and there's nothing's happened quite yet either, so we're okay. Um, let's. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to build that just yet. Can we cancel that? Thank you. And I want to build a consecrated ground here so we can start converting. Oh, well, actually, do I need to, actually? I could build another suburbia. Just, pu like, just push out a load of stuff. Or do we go for... Mm, could go for, like... Yeah, this isn't actually that very good for wealth, either. Suburbia would be pretty good. Is does a fair amount of stuff. Uh, no, because that's actually damaging public. Yeah, no, we'll put a consecrated ground here just for public order, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull back just because Neapolis is like doing stuff, and I bet like now that Neapolis, yeah, it's like even more. Yeah, okay, they're building cav up. Yeah, break siege. Uh, and go back to Capua. Capua, Capua. I don't know how you say it, but oh, Capua. Well. Capua. <laughs> Kabua. Kabua. <laughs> That's how you say it. <laughs> One of those ones that will work. Yeah. Um, 
Let's go down here to Compsa. And we found an army. Found two armies. And a garrison. <laughs> right, we'll sub. No, actually, no. Let's not waste money on sabotaging armies. Um, let's build. Oh, God. Oh, why did, why did it pause? <laughs> Interesting. Right, we have a building that we can do in VI. We will put another uh, suburbia in. And we'll carry on the industrialization of Rome. <laughs> the industrial. Rome was very industrial, from what I've heard. Yeah, I've heard it. Uh, you know, built built one or two things. Just one or two. One or two. One, one or two. Maybe uh, eight or nine. But um, anyway, guys, I think that's a perfect place to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, hopefully, in the next episode, I can deal with Neapolis and the Samnites, and Scrim will give me back my trade agreement for economy <laughs> sakes. <laughs> I don't know, I might need, I might need, I might need a help. Oh, shut up, you. I mean, hopefully we don't have a rebellion either, but um, we are at 44%. It's not looking great. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.